The serpent. Snake. Was the savviest of all of the creatures in the creator's perfect planet. The reptile surveyed the scene with keen snake eyes. Streetwise, armed with an arsenal of plausible lies, he slithered up to Eve, the woman, from her blind side, preserving the element of surprise. And he said, Hello, child. How was your day? I overheard your conversation. I just had one simple question. Exactly what did the Creator say? That thing about the tree, the evil and the good, how do you know that you understood? Did he really say what you think you heard? Maybe your mind twisted up the words. Did he say hands off all the plants? Don't look, don't touch, don't taste. What a waste that would be. Eve, the woman, pointed out the tree with the taboo. The tree of the knowing, the good and evil too. She told the snake that God had made it drop dead clear that everything else was free, every other tree. But if they took one tiny taste of the fruit of this particular one, they would absolutely, positively crash and burn. said the snake, faking genuine concern. The deity's afraid of what you're gonna learn. With just one bite, you be just like him. Eyes wide open, knowing the heights of what humans can do, knowing the depths, the despicable too. God would have no tactical advantage over you. You and your man could have the run of the place, total control over the food you eat, the life you live, the path you choose. With just one small bite, you could gain the whole green world. And that means that God of yours would lose. The woman Eve walked closer and closer to the tree. She sniffed and felt the fruit against her cheek. Totally wise, with open eyes, she said. What's wrong with that? Maybe my man and I were born for this. Born to know, born to control, born to rule. She swallowed hard. And it was done. She gave some to her covenant partner, Adam. He opened his mouth and gobbled it down. And the universe was silent. It was the cool part of the day, and God was walking, walking through the land he made. His ecosystem so magnificently put together, about to erode, about to implode before his sad and timeless eyes. He took one long last look and kiss the innocents. Goodbye. Adam? Where you hiding, son? Eve? Girl? What have you done? Look around. It's broken now under a curse, from bad to worse. Now your eyes 
eyes are wise and clear. Now you know shame. Now you know fear. Now you know you're naked. Now you run for cover. Well, here's what's gonna happen. Life will be shorter. Pain will be greater. Work will be harder. Grinding it out by the sweat on your brow, the blood on your hands. Eve and Adam, even the bond you have will now be strained, slightly off, distorted, reframed. And as for you, reptile snake, Adam will crush your head. You will strike and bite his heel. You will feel the weight of the consequences of what you've done for Eon. He looked them in the eye with a sigh. It's broken now, he said. And the serpent, he just smiled.